Hello, you are watching Balahibo Mass Genius Riddles. The questions come from Russia's Mass Olympia test. We have our questions x cubed minus y cubed equal to x times y plus 61. x, y are positive integers. Find the value of x and y. Can you find the value of x, y? Pause the video and find the answers in your site while you are ready. Keep watching the video to check the result. The question provides two informations. The equations x cubed minus y cubed equal to xy plus 61, and the x, y are positive integers. Let's look at the right side of equations x times y larger than 0. Therefore, x times y plus 61 larger than 0. Then we can say it, x cubed minus y cubed larger than 0. The new information x cubed minus y cubed larger than 0. So x cubed larger than y cubed. Then this gives us new input x larger than y larger than 0. Back to the equations x cubed minus y cubed equal to xy plus 61. Factorize x cubed minus y cubed become quantity x minus y multiplies quantity x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to xy plus 61. We have first quantity x minus y. Next, I'm going to generalize x minus y factor in the second quantities. Divide the second quantity of xy to two items minus 2xy and uh, plus 3xy. Then x squared minus 2xy plus y squared equal to quantity x minus y squared. So we have quantity x minus y multiplies quantity x minus y squared plus 3xy equal to xy plus 61. For easy calculations, define x minus y equal to a and x times y equal to b. Substitute x minus y by a and xy by b to the equations. Then become a times bracket a squared plus 3b bracket equal to b plus 61. Derive to a cubed plus 3ab equal to b plus 61. Next, I'm going to check b result. So move 3ab to right side and 61 to left side of the equations. Then we have a cubed minus 61 equal to b minus 3ab. Move out b in the right side items as b times bracket 1 minus 3a bracket. Divide 1 minus 3a both sides. Then as a cubed minus 61 over 1 minus 3a equal to b. Time minus 1 in the numerators and denominators of left side fractions. Then adjust b to left side for easy understanding. The equation become b equal to 61 minus a cubed over 3a minus 1. b is positive integers. So, 61 minus a cubed over 3a minus 1 larger than 0. We know 3a minus 1 larger than 0. So, 61 minus a cubed must larger than 0. It means 61 larger than a cubed. The question for us become which value of a can meet the conditions 61 larger than a cubed. We have a equal to 1, then a cubed equal to 1. a equal to 2, a cubed equal to 8, and a equal to 3, a cubed equal to 27. 
But if a equal to 4, a q equal to 64 is larger than 61, it's not the right values. While a equal to 1, substitute a by 1 to b equal to 61 minus a cubed over 3a minus 1. b equal to 60 over 2 equal to 30. We define x minus y equal to a and xy equal to b. Substitute a by 1 and b by 30 to these equations. Adjust x plus y equal to 1 to x equal to y plus 1. Substitute x by y plus 1 to the second equations become bracket y plus 1 bracket time y equal to 30. Develop them as y squared plus y equal to 30 minus 30 both sides of equations. Then we have y squared plus y minus 30 equal to 0. Factorize become quantity y plus 6 multiplies quantity y minus 5 equal to 0. So y equal to minus 6 or y equal to 5. Because y is positive integers, so the answer for y only equal to 5. Find x in x equal to y plus 1, so we get x equal to 6. That's the number group we find out. While a equal to 2, substitute a by 2 to b equal to 61 minus a cubed over 3a minus 1. Then we will get b equal to 53 over 5. The result is not integer, so it is not the correct value. While a equal to 3, same mathematical operations finally get b equal to 34 over 8. The result is not integer 2, so this is not the right value. So we get one number group for x and y. Do you get the same result? Hope you to enjoy the video. Thank you.